Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have Anirudh here with us, who is currently pursuing his bachelor's from Manipal Institute of Technology in Computer Science, and he recently got into Mercedes Benz research. So he is here to share his interview experience with us. Let us just look at the eligibility criteria before we go in. So the eligibility criteria is that the student should have a sixty five percent or six point five CGPA at least in tenth, twelfth. as well as in the pursuing degree and should have no standing arrears now we let's go and talk to anirudh and understand his experience hi anirudh uh, firstly welcome to my channel yeah hello jishnu how are you doing i am good how are you i'm doing well okay so congratulations on your placement and would you like to introduce yourself first yeah sure sure uh, so my name is anirudh uh, i'm currently a final year uh, btech student at manipal institute of technology manipal uh, my branch is computer science and engineering and to my placement uh, sir uh, i got placed at uh, university spends research and development in india they offered me a four month uh, internship and a full time offer as well okay okay thank you for introducing uh you can now tell us about your placement process and how it works yeah so so the thing uh, so once they send the registration uh, stuff and all uh, there was an uh, aptitude exam uh, the aptitude exam it, it, it was just like a typical aptitude that you can find on india big websites and all and uh, you had some technical questions technical questions were from uh, data structures algorithms object oriented uh, programming uh, operating systems uh, and computer networks okay. uh, these core subjects were uh, there were 40 there were 60 questions 20 uh, there were 60 questions in total i don't remember the exact uh, divide between the aptitude and technical okay. it was a uh, 60 questions 60 minutes one hour exam okay okay after this uh, one week after the exam happened they sent an email to the shortlisted students hmm. uh, they it was regarding the technical round uh, before the technical round happened uh, there was just a presentation from the hr hmm. uh, basically telling about the details of uh, like how long the internship will be and how long this uh, uh, and uh, after that they will be offering the full time basically the hr explained that uh, we guys will be joining as interns for four months four to six months depending upon the schedule released by the college and then after that uh, you'll be joining as a full time employer uh, after this uh, they started taking a technical round so basically they sent emails to everyone uh, uh, to the technical panels my technical my technical round uh, lasted for one hour there was just one interviewer for me okay and uh, the my uh, the, the interview went along the lines of my resume he was looking at my resume and he was asking questions based on that at first it was basically a informal discussion between us us hmm. basically he was asking about me my hobbies and uh, what what do i do in my free time and all once this was done uh, he looked at my resume and he asked me at what subjects that i'm good at for hmm. technical Hmm. Uh, so one one thing that I did here was I went through the job description that they provided. Okay. And uh, according to the job description, I he told them subjects. Uh, they were actually looking for people who have a good uh, concept, good good grasp of concepts in object-oriented programming, uh, operating systems, data structures. Uh, I chose to go with object-oriented programming and uh, operating systems. Okay. Uh, and uh, and now when when they, he started asking me technical questions on in the, from these uh, subjects hmm. uh, you can uh, the typical questions that are asked he asked me about encapsulation polymorphism all the four, the four pillars of op he asked me about uh, yeah interfaces or uh, the difference between uh, he, all the typical uh, object oriented programming uh, technical questions hmm. and in operating system he asked me about bankers algorithm deadlock situation how do you handle particular deadlock situations okay. he asked me about process in the process communication mm. these were the main topics that were covered in the technical one okay. and regarding coding i wasn't asked much of coding questions so basically what he asked me regarding coding he didn't ask me to solve any problem as such okay. he just asked me to demonstrate the examples that i suppose in object oriented program i can demonstrate encapsulation using a simple op program mm. he just asked me to demonstrate that just to test if i have the basic programming skills or not okay after this he went to my project So mm-hmm. he asked me questions based on it. This was the longest part. Uh, the discussion on this project was about for twenty uh, minutes. Okay. Uh, so this this was the la- uh, this was that. After the project discussion, this took around twenty minutes. He asked me questions based on my projects. Mm-hmm. After this, he asked me a typical aptitude question, like a typical situation. Uh, a typical situation. He basically didn't want an answer from me. He just wanted to know how I would deal with that particular situation. Okay. It was like a managerial question for okay. a particular situation. Okay. Uh, and uh, this, this all, all this process lasted for one hour mm-hmm. and. Uh, 
say actually the interview he wasn't unable to complete my he has he, we were unable to complete the discussion on the aptitude based question okay he had his time constraint and he had ended the interview over there hmm. and uh, after this happened 3 hours later i got an another email uh, t- regarding uh, telling that i have been sent for the manager around hmm. uh, at the manager around after 3 hours the my technical round ended hmm. so in the manager around uh, the manager round was more like an extension of the technical round itself again the manager asked me about what uh, he asked me about my project he mm. asked me about my he asked me about my you know, technical knowledge and then a few managerial questions typical managerial questions like okay. what are your plans after ms and all if do you have plans for ms and uh, he was he was just asking his typical manager questions and uh, once the manager the manager alone lasted around 30 minutes it was pretty short all this took 30 minutes and okay. after the after two hours after my manager learned i just got a got a form a informal call from the hr that you have been selected mm-hmm. and she just, just wanted to confirm if i am accepting the offer or not okay uh, hr round was nothing it just lasted for two minutes uh, it was just a phone call That's okay it. okay so, so that is like just normal okay yeah so it just uh, it was just done in a day okay so then you and got the, the next, result and the next morning i got the confirmation email from the company okay so basically here uh, if you would ask me anything uh, what i would suggest is that uh, when I, whenever you are submitting whenever you are submitting your resume for the company first go through the job description that company provided and try to see if your resume is uh, if you have the uh, i am not asking you to like you can put projects regarding uh, you cannot obviously do la- projects in the last minute and all make sure that your technical knowledge that you have is as per the job description that the company gives and when the interview asks you anything uh, regarding your strengths uh, your technical uh, your strengths in particular technical subjects go as per the job description whatever strength uh, whatever uh, you are competent at mm-hmm. i was i was a, i was actually a bit uh, a bit uh, doubtful about my algorithms at that time so i went with oop and os and that actually went uh, went along my side okay uh, be, be careful one thing i would say be careful with what you mention on your resume because they are only asking things from your resume mm mm-hmm. okay what i would uh, this is what i would suggest because uh, they are the interview is uh, lined along the rishna okay okay yeah thank you so much for sharing your experience and your suggestions and yeah thank you